Hello, uh, it's going to be a quick video on what I've been doing for the last day-ish. Um, I thought I'd do some uber bosses and I started off with Cyrus. I'm going to be doing 50 of each of them and obviously upload in a video based on the sample size. I think 50 is like an alright sample size, I don't think it's the best. Um, but it gives like a general idea obviously the chance of hitting one of the one or two percent drops is, is pretty low um by 450 was a decent sample size to see how much money you would make if you didn't hit those drops um so all in all i have i don't know how many of these profit grounds but i have a decent amount of them um basically a shitload of them is the most common drop and i have three temperature gloves here that i have kept um, main reason is I vowed all the ones I'd got as a loot because I didn't really want to have a bunch of like 30 C items in my stash so I thought I'd vow them and if I hit something good um, I'll keep them and if I if I don't I'll get rid of them. Um, I got an apothecary glove hunter base item level 87. Uh, this is apparently worth money I'm not sure if it's because the elevated mod um, but I valued it at 100 C because that's what the base is going for on the trade site. I got three Cortex cards, these are 90 C each. This tab was public, but I thought I'd turn it off public before the video. So I got three Cortex cards. I got four Orbital Dominance, which is 1.8 Divines each, which is where most of the profit comes from. Um, and I only got five Awakened Gems in 50 kills. I should have had double this, but I was unlucky. So it's a 20% drop chance for an Awakened Gem from Ubersiris. And I got five Awakeners Orbs. Um, all in all, I think this loot is pretty bad. Um, if we go over the threads, as you can see, I've got four small threads, one medium, four large, and then one massive, which is six divines. Um, I priced it at four because I was, uh, I, d I didn't realize that the trade macro was doing 12 all reds, but a 11% is actually six divines. Um, so in total, from all of these sets I made 22.1 divines so that's the total value of the loot however I paid 0 0.25 chaos or 0 0.25 divines per set so I paid 12 12 and a half divines for 50 Cyrus sets so if I did 22.1 minus 12.5 leaves me with a total of 9.6 divines in profit so overall it's not too bad obviously the RNG on the awakened gems is pretty terrible um, and one of the gems is worth significantly more than the others so I got fork which is a four divine one and if I divide 9.6 by 50 I was making about 0.2 divines per Cyrus kill on average. Um, I would say with the quantity of the gloves I got, I valued these at 100 chaos each in the in the price check because I didn't want to do like I think like hitting something like this like this looks good but I don't think it's actually that great. And um, but hitting something like that is unrealistic. I was just valuing it until it bricked and I got a bit carried away with it. Um, so overall in the 50 kills I made a grand total of 0 0.2 divines per kill on average. Um, I think my orbital dominance rate is definitely higher than it should be um, but obviously the awakened gems is significantly lower. I'm not sure what the average value of an awakened gem is. I know a bunch of them are significantly more expensive than others. Um, I also got two of the belts here so these belts are just worthless so I haven't included them but I put them in the tab um, and then I think the massive thread is definitely a very low drop rate I think it's about 2% to get it as a drop and then identify a massive from data I've seen um, so fairly lucky on getting that in 50 kills um, all in all I was killing Cyrus in about three minutes per kill um, and then maybe spending a minute in the hideout so if I do four minutes on average so if I do four times 50 divided by 60 um, so overall it took me about three hours and I made you know just under 10 divines profit 
Uh, maybe with better RNG, this would be good money. But if I do 9.6 to 1 by 3, obviously I've only made three divines per hour um, from doing Uber Cyrus. So, you know, do what you will with this data. But personally, I am going to be moving on to other Uber bosses after this. I don't think Cyrus is really worth. Um, at least for me, I might come back to it. I want to get the the flask to drop. I think that would be something to go for, hoping hoping for a flask drop. Um, I definitely have enough of Cyrus for now. Uh, the next video will probably be 50 Uber Eater of Worlds or possibly Shaper. Um, I'm not entirely sure yet. I haven't really seen the capabilities of this build, but it basically one shot Cyrus, so I'm sure the other bosses will be a breeze. Um, yeah, if you found this video interesting, remember to like the video and subscribe if you can. Definitely helps out the channel. And thanks for watching and see you next time.